Hi, my name's Varman. I'm doing some editing right now, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. That's what you're supposed to say, right? You know, Michael, that, um, donuts aren't a breakfast food. They're a dessert. No matter how much your country tries to change that, it will never change. What should I eat as breakfast food? What are my options up here? Well, you, you can eat a donut if you want, but just know that you'll look like a child. Okay. <laughs> That's like a childish thing to do. We could get you some like nice corn fritters with tomato relish. Is that, what, what are you gonna eat? I don't think I'm gonna eat anything. You're not gonna eat anything? No. So I just woke up. I've got a flight at 1 something p.m. to Melbourne today. So at about 10.30, I'm gonna head down to the train station to go to the airport. There's some uh, construction going on here. This is real life Sydney stuff. Yeah, if you count Newtown as a part of Sydney. Apparently I can't have donuts yet because they're not open. What time do they open? At a reasonable time for donuts. Maybe like midday. <laughs> they don't even have their hours on the thing. No because no one needs a donut that badly. Okay, is there somewhere where I can get a croissant? Yes. Where? We're going to it. Okay. They added a little shadow under massage. I believe that's uh, word art. Yeah. Yeah. That's high quality. Unfortunately, I don't think they're gonna be open in time for you to uh -oh. check it out before you go down to Melbourne. That's okay. So instead of a croissant, I've gone for the bacon and egg on Turkish. I didn't know what Turkish bread was. It's, it's bread made by Turks. I don't know if I believe you. All right, I'm all packed up. It's time to fly to Melbourne. Mm -hmm. I'll see you on... I'll see you in Melbourne. Yeah. <laughs> Not that there. I'm going to VidCon. But you'll be around on Saturday and Sunday. Saturday night and Sunday. Okay. And then Sunday night I'll probably stay at my parents' place and I'll get you to take the train up to my parents' place. Okay. Uh, and we'll drive from there. Look at this, I've already become a local. I know my way to the train station from the house. I know how to get from the train station to the other train station. This reminds me a lot of living in London with Alex and Charlie and when I was living in Paris. It's bringing back some good memories. This airline doesn't let you check in more than uh, two hours before your flight. And I'm earlier than two hours before the flight. So I guess I'm just gonna hang out for a little bit. There's a little cafe right here. So I got a donut. It tastes like a donut. But also there's this V energy drink. I've never heard of it before. So I'm gonna try that. I'm not super familiar with the way Red Bull tastes, but this reminds me of a Red Bull. Got myself checked in, about to go through Australian security. That was pretty painless, I'd have to say. This is a really nice airport. My flight is actually at the very last gate in the airport, number 59. It's been a long walk.
The Melbourne airport has quite a large food court area, McDonald's of course, and pies. Pies seem to be quite the Australian staple. Lamb and rosemary pie, beef and Guinness pie, beef pot pie, lamb pot pie. I got myself a lamb pot pie. Lamb seems to be more common in Australia than back home, so I figured I'd give this a try. This is very crumbly. I have made a huge mess. It's pretty good. I think overall, I would give six pence pies three stars. What wasn't great about this was that the filling only came up about halfway inside this cup and the crust didn't come down the inside of the pie. So they filled a cup up with this pie innard and then they put pie crust over the top of it but not down inside. Okay, I've got my bags. The next stop is Skybus ticket counter. bus trip to, I forget what this is called, Southern Cross Station or something like that. I made a few friends on that bus trip, it was nice. I didn't get any of their names, so I won't be able to check up on them ever again, but that's okay. I'm not sure where to go next. The person that I'm staying with this evening, I can't meet up with them until 10 p.m. this evening, so I just have like five hours to kill in the city right now. The people I met on the bus suggested that I come down here to the night market, which is a pretty sweet location if I do say so myself. So while I was at the market, I met up with some people from VidCon accidentally, and it's uh, Creamy Middles again. Hello! Hello. I don't know if you're in focus, but that's okay. We are now trekking to a place called 8-Bit Burger. All right, I decided I was too full for a burger, but I got a strawberry cheesecake shake. I'm gonna have to come back sometime when I'm more hungry for that burger, but the shake, I would give it four stars. Dang. That was a nice shake. So the next person that I'm staying with told me to meet them in front of Nando's on Swanston Street, which is across from this big uh, library. library. Yeah, library. So I'm here. I'm waiting. Ooh, busted. Oh, I think he's just stuck behind the tram. He's not pulling the tram over? No, he's not pulling the tram over. Rachel here says that she thinks she might want to do some YouTube videos. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. So probably uh, in the comments, if you want to see Rachel make some YouTube videos, you should tell her to make some YouTube yeah. videos. Tell me if I'm photogenic or not, because that's one of my big concerns with it. I think you're a photogenic oh, plenty. Please. Thank you, Michael. I met up with my host for the next few days, Pim, and now I'm in this fine apartment building. I feel pretty tired, so I think I'm just gonna lay down, try to sleep. When I get up tomorrow, I have some editing to do. I'm gonna try to fix that drone finally. And in the evening, we're gonna go to a place called Betty's Burgers, which is apparently pretty nice. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.